Have you ever seen the Home Improvement episode with the guy who played the Tooth Fairy in the Santa Claus movies? Which Home Improvement guest star got his start working with the likes of Jack Nicholson and Francis Ford Coppola? Keep watching to find out. Character actor Art Lafleur passed away in 2021 at the age of 78 after a 10-year fight with atypical Parkinson's. Plenty of movie fans will surely remember the times when Lafleur played baseball players, particularly in Field of Dreams and as Babe Ruth in The Sandlot. But to Tim Allen, he will always be the Tooth Fairy, as he played a memorable version of that legendary creature in the Santa Claus franchise. After his passing, Allen tweeted, This man was a kind and gifted actor, husband and father. Peace to you, our beloved Tooth Fairy. But before they were Santa and the Tooth Fairy, Allen and Lafleur worked together on the Home Improvement Season 1 episode, Nothing More Than Feelings. LaFleur played gum-chewing construction worker Jim, a tool-time audience member who bonds with Tim over shared marital grievances. During his career, LaFleur regularly played up his tough guy persona for laughs, but he was also genuinely fearsome in a number of his roles. Some of his other notable film parts included Cobra and the 80s remake of The Blob. Actor-comedian Wendy Jo Sperber was probably best known as Marty McFly's sister Linda in Back to the Future. She died of breast cancer in 2005 at the age of 47. She made her feature-length debut in 1978's I Wanna Hold Your Hand, a 60s-set movie about New Jersey girls who embark on a journey to meet the Beatles. In 1980, she began a run as Amy Cassidy on the sitcom Bosom Buddies, which starred a young Tom Hanks. She worked with Hanks again a few years later in the 1984 movie Bachelor Party. Sperber only appeared in two Home Improvement episodes, but they were important ones. She played Sue in the first and third parts of The Long and Winding Road, the show's three-part finale. In part one, an episode of Tool Time takes a Jerry Springer-style turn, and Tim is furious when he discovers that the show's new producer organized the whole thing. He wrests control back in part three, ignoring the insane demand of his boss and bringing a bunch of special guests onto Tool Time to end the show on his own terms. Jeanette Dubois was an Emmy-winning actor, and she was also a musician who co-wrote and sang the iconic theme to The Jeffersons. She died unexpectedly in 2020 of cardiac arrest. She was 74. A veteran of the stage and screen, Dubois made her first TV appearances in the 60s. The following decade, she penned Moving On Up for The Jeffersons, and she also appeared in a classic 70s sitcom of her own. In a career-defining role, she played dependable neighbor Willona Woods on Good Times for five years, taking her final bow as the character in 1979. As her co-star Janet Jackson shared on Instagram upon her passing, she broke stereotypes and changed the landscape for black women in entertainment. I'm grateful in recent years I had a chance to see her and create more lasting memories. Dubois went on to have a long career as a character actor, including two episodes of Home Improvement. When Tim fills his audience with female fans to prove a point in season one's Reach Out and Teach Someone, a woman named Judith, played by Dubois, volunteers to come on stage. She then proceeds to embarrass the tool man by fixing a running toilet in a far more efficient manner. In the end, it's Tim who learns something. Give her a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Dubois also would later appear as a member of Jill's book club in the season 5 episode, Her Cheatin' Mind. Charles Robinson was probably best known for playing Vietnam vet turned court clerk Mac Robinson on the NBC sitcom Night Court. He died in July 2021 from a heart attack and organ failure brought on by septic shock. He'd also been living with cancer of the glandular cells. He was 75. The Texas native studied at the University of Houston after a spell in the Army, though he soon realized that he was in the wrong type of school. He wanted to be an actor, and after taking some lessons at the Houston Music Theater's Studio 7 workshop, he moved to Los Angeles and started studying at the actor's studio. He made his big screen bow in 1971 Drive, he said, the directorial debut of Jack Nicholson. And he also popped up in 1979's Apocalypse Now in an uncredited role as a soldier. And then in the 80s, he became a big deal on the sitcom scene. Robinson played Nudell on the one-season NBC sitcom Buffalo Bill, and then he quickly followed that up with his eight-year run on Night Court, which ended in 1992. A few years later, he found a new character in the form of Bud Harper on Home Improvement. 
Robinson made his debut as the new owner of Tool Time sponsor Binford Tools in Season 5's The First Temptation of Tim, and reprised the role in eight more episodes. Angela Patton played the host of Tool Time's rival show, Cooking with Irma, on Home Improvement. She passed away after a heart attack in 2016 at the age of 86. Patton spent the early part of her career on the stage, as she acted in plays and even opened her own theater. She didn't begin popping up in film and TV regularly until later in life, but she still managed to notch almost 100 on-screen credits over the course of her career. Her first notable role was that of Harriet Anderson on the wine country soap opera Falcon Crest. Then, in the 90s, she played bed and breakfast owner Mrs. Lancaster in the classic Bill Murray comedy Groundhog Day. She also appeared on several well-known TV shows, including ER, Star Trek Voyager, and of course, Home Improvement. Patton played Irma in only two episodes, Season 3's Too Many Cooks and Season 5's Let Them Eat Cake. Filmed in the same building as Tim's show, Cooking with Irma won multiple TV awards while Tool Time languished in its shadow. Producers actually got Tim to guest host the cooking show on one occasion, but much to his annoyance, they made him second in command, as the tool man played helper to his regular assistant, Al. Tim hated it, but Irma's audience sure loved Al. Award-winning actor Tom Poston actually played three different characters on Home Improvement. He died in April 2007 of respiratory failure after a brief illness. He was 85. The Ohio native was a keen boxer in his youth who competed in hundreds of amateur fights. He later studied at West Virginia's Bethany College, but left to join the Army at the onset of the Second World War. After serving in Europe, he decided to start over in New York, enrolling at Manhattan's American Academy of Dramatic Arts. By the mid-50s, he was working on both the stage and screen, in Broadway productions like Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter and as the host of Entertainment, an early variety show that aired on ABC. The success of Entertainment led to a spot on The Steve Allen Show and in turn, an Emmy win for the latter program. Poston became a TV regular in the years that followed, and in the 90s, he appeared on Home Improvement as three brothers. He played unenthusiastic airport worker Fred in season 5's Twas the Flight Before Christmas, as Fred's brother Ned in season 6's The Tool Man Delivers, and as their brother Ted in season 7's Thanksgiving. You look awful familiar. Have, have we met before? No, uh, perhaps you've met one of my brothers, Ned or Fred. Professional drummer-turned-character actor Mickey Jones is known to Home Improvement fans as Tim Taylor's buddy Pete Bilker. He left this mortal coil in February 2018, at the age of 76 after succumbing to complications from diabetes. During his music career, Jones played drums for the likes of Johnny Rivers, Kenny Rogers, and Bob Dylan. It was the daily grind of touring that made him want a change of direction. As he admitted in an interview with cult film Freaks, I just had to get off the road, so I gave up a great career to try and get in a business that I loved, but starting at the bottom. Jones began popping up on TV shows in the late 70s and was landing movie gigs by the early 80s, including the beloved comedy National Lampoon's Vacation. According to Jones, Vacation was one of three projects that inevitably came up whenever he bumped into fans. As he recalled, when I meet people on the street, they always mention Vacation, Sling Blade, and Home Improvement. I appeared for eight seasons on Home Improvement with Tim Allen. Jones wrote a book entitled That Would Be Me, which was a reference to his home improvement character, and in the book, he revealed that he had a blast playing Pete. As he put it, hanging out with Tim Allen, all we did was laugh all day, and the funniest stuff was between takes. Ode to My Mother by Peter Bilker. That would be me. Veteran TV actor Dick O'Neill was probably best known for playing the father of Christine Cagney on the 80s police procedural Cagney and Lacey. He died in 1998 at the age of 70. A New York native, O'Neill honed his skills on the city's stages before heading west to embark on a film and TV career that would last for decades. He was on The Jackie Gleason Show in the 1960s, and in the 70s he appeared in the likes of Wonder Woman and M.A.S.H. He also made some of his most memorable movie appearances appearances around this time, including the character of Frosty in the 1979 Steve Martin comedy The Jerk, and a no-nonsense subway dispatcher in The Taking of Pelham 123. 
O'Neill went on to appear in such other notable TV shows as The Incredible Hulk and Falcon Crest. And on Cagney and Lacey, he portrayed Charlie Cagney in 27 episodes. Then, after all that, he made his debut on Home Improvement. Fans of the 90s sitcom will no doubt remember his turn as Art Leonard, Tim's tool shop teacher from back in the day. Art guest starred on Tool Time in season 4's Ye Old Shop Teacher, and he became romantically involved with Tim's mother in season 5's That's My Mama, which absolutely horrified Tim. Earl Hendman played Tim Taylor's next-door neighbor Wilson W. Wilson Jr. in almost every episode of Home Improvement. He died of lung cancer at the age of 61 in 2003. Wilson was reportedly based on a real neighbor that Tim Allen had as a child, and on the show, the character was always chatting over his backyard fence. The running gag was that viewers never saw his full face, but that didn't stop audiences from truly connecting with Wilson. Hinman was a bona fide fan favorite, and Tim Allen loved him as well. When Allen reprised the role of Tim Taylor on a 2021 episode of his sitcom Last Man Standing, he confirmed on screen that Wilson had passed away. On set, things reportedly got emotional. As Allen revealed to Entertainment Tonight, I adored the man, and we kind of brought that up in the story. I started thinking about all the history I had with that TV show, how I compare it to my life on this show. It's all about loss, is all I kept saying in that episode. Episode. Hendman appeared in 200 episodes of Home Improvement. He only missed three episodes, though he was credited for those as well. It's the part that he was best known for, but he actually played another character for even longer. On the soap opera Ryan's Hope, he played Detective Lieutenant Bob Reed in almost 500 episodes between 1975 and 1989. And as for feature films, he counted Silverado, The Parallax View, and Three Men and a Baby among his credits. Is there anything you don't know, Wilson? I don't know. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.